Guys, this is massive news. Something big is about to happen to Android, and it could completely change how we use it forever. You know the Snapdragon X2 Elite, right? Qualcomm's most powerful chip, the one that powers Windows laptops and goes head-to-head -head with Apple's M-series chips? Well, leaks are now saying that this same chip might soon power Android PCs. Yeah, Android, but not on your phone or tablet, on a desktop or laptop. Now, let's talk about why this is such a big deal. Phones have always had limits. They're small, they get hot easily, and their batteries can't handle extreme performance for long. Even though we have super powerful chips like the Snapdragon 8 Elite or Elite Gen 5, those chips can't show their full strength because of the phone's small size and heat issues. So we've never really seen the true power of Android. But imagine Android running on something bigger, like a computer, a PC that has proper cooling, a bigger battery, and more space for power. That means no more overheating, no more throttling, just pure, full performance. That's where the Snapdragon X2 Elite comes in, and it could be the key to unlocking Android's true potential. Now, here's where it gets interesting. In the Android 16 private code list, people have found references to the Snapdragon X2 Elite and Snapdragon X2 series chips. These are the same chips that are used for Windows laptops, not phones. Their appearance in Android's code means something big. Google is working on making Android run as a desktop system. This isn't just a rumor. The chip's codename is literally written in Android's code. That's a solid clue that Google is testing Android PCs right now. So what makes this chip special? The Snapdragon X2 Elite is built on three nanometer architecture. That's super advanced and efficient. It has up to 18 CPU cores with dual core boost for multitasking. So you could run multiple apps, games, and even heavy programs all at once without lag or slowdown. It also comes with a strong Adreno GPU, which means Android gaming could become seriously powerful on PC. Imagine playing emulating AAA games on Android without any sweat, or high-end emulators like Dolphin, Yuzu, or even GameHub on full desktop performance, 60 FPS or even higher without lag or overheating. But the real magic is in its AI power. The X2 Elite is built for the AI era. It comes with a Qualcomm AI engine and a hexagon NPU that can handle AI models with over 13 billion parameters. That's massive. And it can do it all on device without needing the cloud. That means faster photo editing, AI voice features, real-time translation, and smart assistants that all work offline. There's even a smaller AI unit called the Sensing Hub inside the Sensing Hub that improves privacy and battery life by running smart features in the background without draining power. So yeah, this chip isn't just powerful, it's smart and ready for the future. Now think about Android running on a full PC setup, a real desktop environment with multitasking, Windows, keyboard and mouse support, and apps that work like they do on Windows or Mac OS. No weird emulators, no mobile limitations, just pure Android running natively on a computer. That could open a whole new world of possibilities. You could have Android PCs for work, for gaming or content creation, and it could all tie into your phone perfectly. One system everywhere. And it makes even more sense when you remember that Google has already said they want to merge Android and Chrome OS into one system, a single platform that runs on phones, tablets, and computers. Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Amen even confirmed that he's seen Google's new desktop Android system, and he called it incredible. That's coming straight from the man who builds the chips powering these systems, so you know it's serious. Now, here's the catch. Qualcomm says the first Snapdragon X2 laptops, even the Windows ones, probably won't arrive until around spring 2026. So if Android PCs are coming, we might have to wait until then or shortly after. But the fact that Android 16 already supports these chips means development has started. The foundation is being built right now. And if this works, it could change everything. Imagine walking into a store and seeing an Android laptop right next to Windows and MacBooks. It runs your favorite mobile apps, your games, your productivity tools, all on a bigger screen with proper performance. Android could finally become a full desktop platform, not just a mobile OS stretch to fit a tablet. This could also change gaming forever. Developers could start making desktop level Android games optimized for this hardware. We could see console style experiences on Android PCs with advanced graphics and smoother performance. 
And because of Qualcomm's AI hardware, even AI-based gaming features could become standard. Things like smart NPC behavior, AI upscaling, or real-time environment adjustments. Plus, think about how much easier this would make the ecosystem. You could move between your phone, tablet, and PC without switching systems or losing data. Everything would sync through your Google account. Your files, apps, settings, everything. Just one unified Android experience across all your devices. And it could also make computers more affordable. Qualcomm chips are efficient and cheaper to produce than Intel or Apple's chips, so Android PCs could be thinner, lighter, last longer on battery, and still deliver great performance, especially for students, creators, and everyday users who don't need Windows-level complexity. So yeah, something big is coming. The Snapdragon X2 Elite might be the chip that finally takes Android beyond phones and tablets and brings it into the real PC world. It's the next step toward a future where Android is everywhere, not just in your pocket, but on your desk too. And honestly, I can't wait to see what Google does with this. Will it replace Chrome OS? Will we get a new Android desktop experience? Will Android finally become one OS for everything? Whatever happens next, it's clear that Google and Qualcomm are working on something massive. The future of Android isn't just mobile anymore, it's about to go full desktop. And that could change everything we know about computing.